live from Mount Cobb, Pennsylvania, a real happening place. It happened to be, you know, actually I can't think of any reason to have Mount Cobb as a happening place. But anyway, it's a pre-holiday edition of Strike the Lunatic Rally. <laughs> Hey everyone, Independence Day coming up, 4th of July, tomorrow, that's right. Middle of the week, which actually sucks, but that takes us to our rant today. That's right, Independence Day, a national holiday. What is Independence Day supposed to mean? The birth of our nation, birth of our freedom, big national holiday. They have stuff like this in other countries, too, where they celebrate the birth of their nation, the creation of their government, or um, their dictator, or, you know, even, you know, even places like North Korea have some form of holiday that represents their nation, the national holiday. Unfortunately, in the United States, we've lost that meaning, national holiday and respect and, and things like that and you know and this is why the world laughs at us and this is what i am getting at you go to these other countries you know go go to north korea go to russia go to vietnam go to go to france you know go go to these countries that ha have celebrations like this okay and the one thing you'll discover is it is a national holiday Meaning that in a sense, I don't want to say it's treasonous, that's treason if you don't celebrate or participate, but it is disrespectful against the nation when the whole nation's a national holiday, which means you don't work, except for essential services like, you know, hospitals and of course the media and probably, well, nowadays gas stations, of course. It's a national holiday. Everyone's supposed to be out celebrating the fact that they have their nation, their leader, or their independence, or, or you know, something like that. But, make this a little bit up. Oh, there we go. No, too big. That's way too big. Way too big. But, not here in the grand old USA. And of course, this is what I'm going on with today, people. The biggest problem is here, here we are, the nation that, first of all, people are trying, you know, people try sneaking into because they want to be part of the American dream. And, you know, we, we emphasize, you know, oh, democracy and we want, the, you know, the rest of the world should be following us, all, all this other stuff. And, you know, other countries do follow us, except for the fact that they, rep, they respect national holidays and the birth of their nation. Not here in the United States. Here in the United States, this has become, it's more commercialized, I think, than Christmas is, to be honest with you. It really is. It, it's disgraceful. You know, this is, again, why the rest of the world freaking laughs at us. You know, we, this is a country where, on our national holiday of the creation of our country, basically, of our independence, I'm going to say, honestly, at least half of Americans are stuck working in these towns. Could be more than that. I'd have to Google it and see if there's actually a study that we've never done on it. You're stuck working, especially if you're in retail. Why? Because, well, first of all, you have all the corporate people, for example, who, when you have holidays like this, are off for two or three days. Screw their workers. Screw the people that are actually making them their big fat paychecks. Same thing when it comes to management and things like that in a lot of these organizations. A lot of management and these organizations are off. While the peons get to work, you know, and get in trouble or can lose their job for not working on the holiday. It's amazing. Again, why other countries laugh at us. Because we've become a nation of people that first of all want it now. I mean, even trucks are rolling on a holiday on the highways because you get, that stuff's got to get on Walmart shelf. Hi, Walmart. It's got to get on Walmart shelf because some someone that is off 
you know, has to run to the store today because their kid needs that goddamn Barbie doll. Or, you know, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Again, how do, how do we emphasize our independence? Having things like, I, I love this commercial that was on actually, for car dealerships. Come celebrate Independence Day at Independence Kia. That's right. Celebrate the birth of a nation by buying a foreign car. Show your support for America by buying a foreign car on the 4th of July. I love that though. Come buy a foreign car to celebrate the 4th of July. And there's tons of things like that out there. The furniture stores. Oh my God, they go off on stuff like this. Come celebrate independence by getting yourself a new dining room set. It's amazing, people. Absolutely amazing. I mean, even today, out on the roadways, there's lots of people. Why? Because these people are fortunate enough to have at least two days for the holiday. They say how, like, you know, it's like, oh, yeah, you know, all the 50 million people are going to be traveling. That's 50 million fortunate people who do not have to work on our national holiday. We become socially numb to holidays. You know, I mean, this is a, if you took away the 4th of July, people would be going crazy. Going crazy. Saying, oh, our independence and that. I, I have people out there, I, yambags that I go to school with, used to go to school with, that would argue with me about this. Well, this is America. And you're, you, know, you have the right to work, the right not to work. No, you don't have the right not to work. You don't. Because you get fired from your job. You live in a state like Pennsylvania, where we're, at, we're an at-will state. They can fire you for any reason and don't have to tell you. All they have to tell you is we don't need your services anymore. And it's legal in this state. Shows you independence there. Well, companies do that. Companies like Walmart uh, do things like that. We'll turn around and fire an employee because they were scheduled on the holiday and they decided to celebrate their independence. It's a shame. It is a shame. You know, you jump back 50 years ago. It wasn't like this. Places were closed. Our parents, when they were our age working in that, you know, in the 50s and that, you didn't have shit like this, all these stores open. You had parades and celebrations and that. Not nowadays. They, you know, yes, we go big with the fireworks because that's a money-making industry. But it's, it's a disgrace. The birth of our nation and... We can't even honor it. Can't even honor it. Just like, you know, not too far down the road, we'll be celebrating, we're gonna be celebrating our 250th birthday. It's weird, we, we protest and we're against the stupid things, like these stupid NFL players, you know, take a knee and all this other shit. But absolutely nobody is outraged over the fact that we disgrace our country so much on our most important national holiday. It seems, I don't know, am I the only person out there that's actually bothered by this? I, I must be. I really must be. Because I, I just don't see anybody else ever like bitching about it or talking about it or anything like that. I don't know, it's a disgrace. You know, you, you jump back again many years ago when stores were closed for stuff like this decades ago. You planned ahead. You bought your shit ahead of time. You didn't wait till the day of the holiday to say, oh, let's go get hot dogs now. Let's get the hot dog buns now. And then go to the store and bitch because you can't find any on the damn shelf. Comment below, people. Let, let me know your feelings on this. I mean, am I the only person out there that actually feels like this, honestly? Let me know, people, okay? All right, this is Frank the Lunatic. Have a happy 4th of July. Don't blow your hands off. That's disgusting. You're gonna do it, do it right. Blow your face off, blow your head off or something with the fireworks. Anyhow, that, my friends, for now is all I have to say about that. Birthday card, birthday card, birthday card, birthday card.